We are ready to begin our news conference with uh, Kansas State Wildcats uh, head coach Jerome Tang. We have three student athletes tonight, Marquise Noel, um, Keontae Johnson, and Desi Sills. Coach, we'll call on you first for an opening statement. Um, uh, first of all, I just want to thank the good Lord for this opportunity he's given me to coach these guys and this program and, um, I mean, playing this incredible event. I want to thank our our fans because they did a great job of showing up. I'm probably the most disappointed in that and letting them down uh, tonight. Um, so we, and this is on me, I didn't do a very good job of preparing these guys for how physical and with what force uh, people play with in the Big 12 tournament. And uh, that, that will not happen again. Thank you, Coach. Let's go to questions for our three student athletes. First one will be on the extreme left, Coach's left, front row. Desi, where do you get that talent of being able to block so many shots like that? Oh, no, I just got a 40-inch vertical. I just not to time it right. So I tell Keith every time he go through, I just say, get out of the way. I'm going to try to get every time, try to make an um, energy play, get the crowd going, and try to get the momentum going the other way. This Big 12 tournament, uh, just what was your experience during this game tonight? It was a beautiful experience, but it ain't an outcome that come out like we wanted to. But we're going to go in the front room. We're going to um, execute what we need to get better and try to make a run in the NCAA tournament. Okay, we have a question here again on the extreme left toward the middle. Marquise, the turnovers got up into that 20 range tonight. Uh, I mean, how important is that for you guys to keep that down in the, you know, 12 or so? Uh, it's big time, especially when you're playing, you know, teams in the Big 12. Uh, it's even more important. But, you know, you can't win a game with 20, you know, turnovers. Um, it's hard to do that. Um, and, you know, we just got to take better care of the ball, including myself. You know, I had five turnovers, um, which is unacceptable. Um, we just got to find ways to move the ball, get each other involved, and play like how we know how to play. Okay, in the back. For all of the players, uh, what's your confidence level right now? You're going to be going to the NCAA tournament next week, but you've lost the, the past couple of years. Are you shaking at all confidence-wise? No. No. We'll be all right. I mean, it's a new season. Um, we'll get better from this. Um, but, you know, we, we, we will handle adversity, you know, pretty good. Uh, we got a mature group of guys, um, me, myself, Desi, um, Keontae, so we'll make sure that, you know, the guys keep their head up. Um, the year's not over yet. We got one game left, um, and we're going to play our hardest, and we're going to fix the things that we need to fix. You good with that? You want Desi to respond and Keontae? Okay, other questions? Okay, here on the right side on the aisle. Keontae, you got bumped in the head pretty pretty hard there. How, how are you doing after that? I'm good. I'm fine. I mean, I had to keep playing for my team, try to get the win, but came up short, so. Jumped out to that 11-2 advantage early. And in your mind, what was the biggest thing that, that they changed that, that, that let them kind of come back and tie it up at 13 there? Um, I feel like they turned it up a notch on defense. You know, you got to give a lot of credit to TCU, the way they played. I mean, you know, Chuck O'Banner and Mike Miles, you know, had pretty decent games. Um, and they just out-toughed us tonight. They was well prepared. Um, and like Coach said, uh, our team didn't, you know, really realize how tough it was going to be. But uh, I'm pretty sure we'll get better, you know, going forward. Okay, here in the middle on the right aisle. Desi, you've been on teams in the past that have made a run in the NCAA tournament. What lessons can you share with some of your teammates who maybe haven't been as fortunate to go that far in the NCAA tournament at this point in the season? Uh, we just got to stay together, stay together. We're going to go in the parent room, keep learning, but we, we got to play together. You know what I mean? It ain't a one-man show, no two-man show. Everybody got to come and execute. We got two of the best players in the country. We, somebody got to help them, so I'm willing to step up, and everybody else got to step up. And then can you explain a little bit further about what maybe makes it more difficult to win at this time of the season than it is in December or January or any other time of the year? 
because everybody knows you survive in bands. Nobody want to go home, so that's one of the big keys. So we want to win, they want to win, so it's all end up with the toughest teams. Okay, now here on the right. Marquise, what is typically the cause when you guys are turning the ball over as much uh, when it gets into the 20s? Uh, the cause is usually, you know, trying to make a play for ourselves and not for the team. Um, and, you know, a lot of guys today, you know, I had a couple turnovers doing that, including myself. Um, but like I said, if we get the ball moving side to side um, and we get multiple paint touches, we are a pretty good team. So we just got to lock in on that, um, not turn the ball over and not, you know, give teams second chance points like we did today. And we'll be fine, but we just got to lock in. Okay, any other questions for our three student athletes? I think we have one here on the front row. That's, we, we've seen you being able to contribute coming off the bench. We've seen you be able to contribute as a starter. Just what has been the key to your success this season? Staying consistent, staying in the gym. My teammates believe in me. You know, whatever they need me to do, I'm willing to do. If I score zero points, I don't care as long as we get the dub. If I got to score 15 plus, I'm willing to do that. I'm all about my team. I just want to win at the end of the day. We'll take one last question for our student athletes again on the front. And does he any common denominators in the uh, games where you've given up a lot of three pointers, a lot of perimeter shooting? I mean, that also, that's on us. We got to step up. We got to play tough. We got to lock up on defense. If they don't score 80 points, they don't win a game. That's, on, that's all on us. We got to execute. They ain't on the coaching staff because they ain't out there playing. That's all on the players. All right, guys. We'll um, excuse you to return to the locker room. Thank you for being with us. And uh, good luck the rest of the way this season. Questions now for Coach Tang. First one's here on the left. Coach, in the uh, previous two meetings with TC, they made six total threes. They made 11 tonight. Them making those big shots, were those the biggest blows? Mm, no. I think the offensive rebounding was. Okay. Coach, you mentioned maybe not having the guys prepared for what the Big 12 tournament was going to be like. How do you prepare a team then for the NCAA tournament where you've had success before as an assistant? So I guess what's that preparation process like and how much confidence do you have that if you didn't have them ready for the Big 12 tournament, you can have them ready for the NCAA tournament? Well, I'm extremely confident in that we as a staff know what we need to do to get our guys prepared. Okay, and um, so that's not going to be an issue. Uh, the great thing is that now we get three or four really good days of practice before we play another game. And, uh, and the guys now have that feeling of, you know, the season could be over. And that, that, that changes the thing. And, and we get to play a team that doesn't know us as well as this team that we played today. Okay, again on the left side. Coach, I asked Marquise about the turnovers. Obviously, 20 is not acceptable for you like it was for him. But is it worry you that so many times when you get into that range of turnovers, they're unforced or just careless turnovers? You had the one on an inbounds pass tonight. Yeah. Um, all turnovers worry me. OK, so um, how they come about, you know, yeah, you know, that, that's important. I, I felt like most of our turnovers today were guys tr maybe trying too hard. You know, we had a few careless ones, but most of those, they were trying too hard. And so we got to, you know, show them and just really buy into making simple plays. But you're not winning any game. I mean, we've won, we're, we're one in five or one in six when you have 19 or more turnovers. And, and I mean, I mean, they know that. I know that. We all know that, right? And so we got to take care of the ball. We'll stay on coach's left here on the front. Coach, what has Desi Seals meant to you guys this season? And from day one, I've said Desi's a winner, and that's what he, he does. Whatever you need him to do, to win, and uh, he really cares about his teammates. He has a high care factor, and um, you know you just, just greatly appreciate him. There was a time that I was subbing Keontae out the game because he had bad body language. It was during a timeout, and Desi went and checked himself out the game, and so Keontae would stay in the game and really just took over the huddle. Um, and did a great job. And so, um, you know, he just, like, uh, you, you can't, the experience that he has, the experience in winning that he has, you just, 
you know, it's a, you can't put a number on it, you know, a value amount on it. He's just, just, just so valuable to you. In the back. You've talked about the crazy faith and you've talked about how just everything's about life lessons in the game of basketball. You've talked about that all season long. What maybe a valuable lesson will you take away from this type of game going into the NCAA tournament? That's a, that's a great question. Um, as a staff, uh, you know, we, we've battled back and forth with how much is doing too much and, you know, not enough. And uh, this, this is a group of guys that, that you just can't tell them. They need reps. And so that's the lesson we learn basketball-wise. Um, Life-wise, man, that, like, nothing's promised, right? Like, I mean, just because you beat a team before doesn't mean you're going to be the game. Like, it takes effort. You have to give a certain amount of effort in order to make anything work, whether it's your marriage, you know, your relationship with your children. Uh, whatever it is, you have to give a certain amount of effort. And tonight we didn't give enough effort to win a basketball game. And um, hopefully uh, the guys walk away and realize that, you know, it takes a greater effort when there's a greater challenge. And, um, and I, I don't think we quit, but I do believe that we, we, they paused us. And that, that's something as a staff we have to figure out how to make sure that doesn't happen. Okay, we'll move to Coach's right here on the aisle. Uh, Keontae fouled out with about six minutes to go. What, what's kind of the biggest thing that he needs to focus on to make sure that he is, is able to contribute late in games like yeah, that. You know, both he and Quan, I mean, Quan plays five minutes in the first half because he's in foul trouble. Keontae, you know, they, they have to, and there are a bunch of tic-tac fouls, right? Like little touch fouls. They're not like, they're not getting their money's worth on their fouls, you know? I mean, if you're gonna get a foul, like make it worth something, you know? And so um, they, they both have to learn to play with their chest and their move their feet and stop, you know, slapping so much with their hands and, but, both of them. We need them on the floor. We're a better team when they're on the floor. Closing question is now for Coach here on the left. Earlier you talked about trying too hard. How do you make sure at this time of the year your players don't try too hard and don't press and don't get tense in the biggest moments? Mm. That's a really good question. Um, you know, um, you know I, I really don't know how to make somebody not try too hard. Um, hopefully, as a staff, we'll be able to put them in positions where we make the play simpler for them. And uh, we'll watch film and we'll show them where, you know, the, the more prudent thing to do is maybe move the ball rather than trying to beat two or, you know, and, um, and they know this. I mean, these guys know this. We have a stat, you know, we keep paint touches and, you know, what we score when we get to the paint. In the first half, we're scoring 146 points when we got a paint touch and 136 points in 100 possessions when we got a paint touch and passed it out. And it was 36 points in 100 possessions when we didn't get a paint touch. They, they know this, right? And so, you know, how do you get them to just stay on track and doing that? It, you know, comes with experience. But hopefully the finality of things, right? Like, you lose, it's over, right? And we're not thinking about losing. So it's about, you know, uh, doing whatever we got to do to survive so we can advance. And uh, we have a really good basketball team in there. And they got beat by a really good basketball team today. And every team that in the quarterfinals, the NCAA tournament team in, uh, in this tournament and can win multiple games in this tournament. So there's no shame in losing this game today. And uh, I am disappointed that I didn't do uh, as good of a job as I could have done or should have done to have our guys ready to do a better job here today. And uh, I'm, but I'm very thankful for our fans because they showed up. And I'm telling that's probably the thing that's the most disappointing to me because of how our fans showed up today and I didn't have the team ready to play. Okay, thank you, Coach. Thank you.